Hey guys, Brian back. So this is uh, just day two. And the reason that I decided to take a video today is because I told you that it was supposed to rain. And I was really excited so that I didn't have to take these sprinklers and put them all over the yard. Because again, I don't have an irrigation system. That's next. So I just wanted to kind of walk around for myself and take a video of the color changes in the lawn just so I can uh, kind of gauge it, you know, I'm, I'm nerdy like that. So I want to see when I play back through this time lapse, as to, uh, is it every day that it changes? Is it every third, every fifth, so on, etc. So I figured as you guys join this journey with me to uh, increase my lawn and get it to uh, take some shape like a fairway that you might be interested in day two so here we are day two hey guys just a quick little random update I was checking the moisture level in my soil right here where my wife loves to drive over and I look up ahead and I have a wasp nest Whoa. Ha. yeah they're mad at me so just your local ace I grab some uh, wasp and hornet stuff and so far it's uh, done the job I gotta wait 24 hours before I can take down the nest itself but uh, I put the kids inside and I closed all the doors I don't need that and there's a lot of them it's crazy so just a little update I figured you guys would enjoy it's the things we go through as homeowners right This is Bearded Beginner, already drove through it. Yes, this spot is courtesy of her. Hey guys, back again. Uh, since I'm over here, give you a little update on the El Waspo situation. Yeah. And zooming in this close, it definitely uh, shows you how bad I need to have my driveway sealed. So I'm gonna do a video on that, just trying to decide whether or not I pay for that or do it myself calculate time square footage you know the drill so just a quick little update on the patchwork here overseed just giving it uh, some moisture I told you guys that it was gonna rain for the next four days it hasn't rained a lick welcome to Michigan so 
while I'm waiting for somebody to get ready, we call him Silas. He's pretty slow sometimes. He's very cute. Today he uh, got his GoPro all set up and he's using scotch tape to where it is <laughs> as a body camera. It's pretty hilarious. I'll take a video for you guys. But anyway, I never really gave you an in-depth view close-up of the grass. And I know this is day three of Milorganite and watering and seed, but at the end of the day, it cut it down to two inches, and uh, and here we are. So, take you through. This is really dry. I gotta get some water over here, but uh, you guys can get a, a lay of the land with a little bit better of a camera position. I know the other day I was kind of zooming through it again. Wasn't planning on doing a whole YouTube series on this, but I think the transformation is going to be awesome, um, and it'll be helpful for many viewers out there who are either contemplating the same type of, of scenario that I am, which is going from tall to short, or whether you just want to achieve good, healthy grass and you have a family with dogs and a speedster on the lawnmower, you know, something just to uh, build on. So this is going to be the uh, the one stop. I'm a new newbie to this. I don't really know much. You know, I, I like I said earlier, I've I hired a company. They do all my fertilization, so it's pretty easy for me to hop on the mower every three four days and take care of it because I have a passion for just straight lines, green grass and stripes, baby, stripes. So. <coughs> You know, I told you I got just shy of uh, 1.7 acres, and of that, we're looking at, you know, 59,000 square feet. I'll walk out the square footage in, like, the side yard, the front yard, and backyard, just so you guys can understand what I have to work with. And really, for calculation purposes, later on it's going to be helpful for me to know that way I can kind of zone off how I lay things and save money it's really at the end of the day that's what we all want to do is save money there's no need to spend unnecessary money so I was keeping it moist that's what she said No new spring uh, sproutings yet, but I mean it's only it's only been three days. You know, technology has made us all uh, what do you call that? So this is going to be a hard part right here to get to fill in. Got a lot of roots, but the thing I'm going to have to do is just top dress and I think I'm going to get rid of the rock and the metal edging just build a dirt mound up to it and hard edge the grass I really like that look it's clean and then I can get rid of all this rock you know with me being on well water you can see all along up here you got a whole bunch of rust build up from well iron it's heavy iron but I mean gives it an orange look and I've got the product Rid Rust, and I spray it every once in a while. It's just annoying. I'd rather get rid of it, have a cleaner look, number one, and number two, and it's free. Plus, it'll all match. I mean, then maybe I'll stop speeding around here. So. Hey guys, back at it again. So, this is the third time today that I have watered. Now, thankfully it's weekend. Uh, I'm able to do this three times already. But, here's the update. Now, as we get a little bit closer, I'm going to show you. 
It's day four, and I have growth. I am super excited. I haven't really examined down here so much, but uh, up near the driveway, little babies are poking through just the tips, just the way she likes it. We're going to go look. So here's the update. All this new growth right in here. Four days. Four days. Groundworks Perennial Rye. That's what I used. And just some, uh, some compost on top. Good old Malorganite. And lots of water. Definitely lots of water. So this here is the high traffic. And I'm assuming that's going to be more like your landscapers mix. So it's going to be more of the uh, creeping red or the Kentucky bluegrass. But those definitely take a lot longer to germinate. Up to, what, 21 days, I think, is the soonest. So, you know, the fact that I have some perennial ryegrass in here mixing it up will uh, show me some growth. And then it'll help fill in and kind of shade out the, uh, the high traffic mix. But, yeah, definitely going to get these spots filled in. Day five update. Look at all of that. It's so much better than I thought. That's so crazy. Look at, look at it all come through. I love it. This is so rewarding. Look at the growth on these already. Man. Look at that. So, very excited. We finally got some rain. That was very helpful. So I've had like a day and a half worth of rain. I've had like a day and a half worth of rain, so that's been very helpful. Plus I water like a crazy man. And it's so awesome seeing it come in. Just knowing that it's going to take shape is, is beautiful. Some of these areas are going to be awesome. But the lawn is so long. So long. I'm going to have to cut it like four or five times. It's crazy. But it's all worth it in the end. It's the journey, not the destination. But for me, it's actually both. It's the journey and the destination. I'm rather excited and geeked. To see this take shape. So I'm glad you guys are joining me.